Raubex was established in 1974 by Chris Robenheimer. Exactly. He's based in Bloemfontein. It's a family business, but it has evolved quite a lot since then. It's focused on infrastructure development. It operates all across the sub-Saharan region, but it has its headquarters in Bloemfontein. What a fabulous city. Market cap here of 3.98 billion rand. Price to earnings ratio 10.9 and a dividend yield of 2.8%. Well, at least it's less expensive than the other yeah. stocks. No. When you, when you look at the price earnings ratios, they, I mean, other than one, one they're actually low, but they're low mm. for a reason. Mm. But the share price also does not reflect what we've seen in the other plays within the sector, Paul. Yeah, it has uh, got quite a remarkable record, in fact. Its margins tend to be high. I'm not quite sure why, but it's focused on roads. And because it comes from Bloemfontein, I think everybody who's driven in the Free State knows those roads need a lot of work. So there's money coming through for that. They've expanded into Namibia and a few other places. They bought out the uh, minorities in Tozas, which was a, a business that manufactures bitumen that Sassol was involved in. So that looks like a reasonable or decent conglomeration. The old man, Robenheimer, is moving out of the business, but his son, I forget what his first name is, Johan or something, is coming in. Plus, you know, they had an interesting fellow, Dedrich, who was the financial director. Now Rudolf Furry is the CEO. I haven't met him yet, but look, these guys are plucky operators. They came to the market at a good time, but done fine. And they've added and gone up on the market league tables where everyone else has been battling. Yeah. Is there opportunity here for there could investment? Be, you know, at least when you look at their earnings, there's no restructuring, there's no disposals. And in fact, the acquisition actually worked out incredibly well for them and they're doing very well out of it. So the share price performance hasn't been great, but it's certainly been significantly better than the other operators. And it's got a very, very good history. Order book looks all right, margins look all right, and when you read their outlook, which you must, in any company you look at, you must read their outlook, they were actually relatively positive on the, on the outlook and for the industry. So I think out of all the companies, you can know, we, this Can we call this one hot? hot? I don't know whether not? we can call it hot, though. That's oh, the problem. I thought we were, we were going to yeah. squeeze in a hot it, there. We can maybe call it melting ice. Uh, all right. See, the problem is you really see gains in the market where the news flow is good, the earnings are expanding, and the market likes the sector, and the PEs are getting marked yes. up for the whole industry. We're not really seeing that latter factor here. So here we are, companies doing all right, but it's trading water, holding it around 21, 22 rands hot a share. Not. I'm going to go with not hot as well, I'm afraid. I think it takes something more, although it is a big plus for them that they don't have exposure to some of this more cyclical work, like you know mining and mm -hmm. what have you.